So I decided to just go ahead and do one of my foundation routines since I haven't put any foundation on yet. So um, I'm going to be using my Graftobian foundation and let me start. Um, I've been really liking the Rimmel London Fix and Perfect Primer. So I'm going to use that. I just squeeze some on the back of my hand and then I'm going to put it all over my face. So. interruption but um okay ouch um let me put my primer on before someone else comes and bothers me okay so i just rub it all in i start off with a little bit because i don't want to waste it so let's do a a little bit at a time, and if I need some more, grab some more. I'm just squeeze it on the back of my hand, like so. Sorry, I'm getting like texts and people calling me. If my phone rings again, I'm sorry. To whoever is calling, because I'm not going to answer. Okay. So while that's setting in, what I do is I grab my Graftobian foundation and I have a palette from Ben Nye from my kit and then, uh oh, where'd it go? Just had it, oh there it is. And then I get my spatula so it's sanitary and I just scrape a little bit out. And this is Midnight Marigold which is basically NC50, it just looks darker on camera. And then I just grab some on my spatula like this. That's probably going to be a little too much anyway. Put the cap back on. Put it down. And then actually mix it with another primer to make it more like a liquid. Most people say, oh, mix it with a moisturizer. But that will make it a tinted moisturizer, which would thin it out a little bit more than I want it to be. So, there you go. So, let me just put this down. And I'm actually going to add some of my uh, line filler. Most people are like, why don't you just put that on, on your face? but I actually like to mix it because it's thicker than the um, Makeup Forever HD primer that I just used. So then I just, I'm just going to swirl it until it's into the consistency, the consistency that I want it to be in. And then I'll show you in two seconds. It doesn't take that much to do it. Just mixing it on the palette. You don't need very much because the Graftobian foundation is full coverage. But you, it's nice having it as a cream because then you can turn it into a tinted moisturizer or a liquid foundation, however you want to do it. So, now it's like that. Then I'm going to take my Sigma F82 Round Top Kabuki and apply it to my face. Oh, and just so you know, I'd already put my, my moisturizer on. So. Both one is basically the same exact color. It was my perfect match, so you're probably not going to see it going on, except for my little flaws going away. And then I just tap it like onto the foundation, but I don't like just dab it straight in there. I kind of like do it on the edge so it works a little bit into the brush. And then I tap it on my face, and then I swirl. And I work, I always start on this side. I don't know why, I just do. And I work around my face. Like this, so. Nothing? Something. <laughs> and it's even pretty full coverage after mixing it with um, a primer and a line filler, so. That's what my face looks like. Four. let's see. And I have like some pimples and stuff right now, but see, you see it right there. Well, you can't really because it's blending in my skin, but yeah. And then I just work over to the other side, like so. And I actually calculate it pretty well with my scooping from the original product because this is just going to be about perfect. See, I'm almost done, and I'm almost done with my face. Well, doing my face so like that 
and then just the rest of my forehead. And since I'm going ice skating and I'm probably going to sweat a little bit, I'm going to set this with a powder and then I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. Okay. And just put that down and I will clean that in a second. So that was the F82. Um, I bought the Angle Top Kabuki brush by Sigma, but I don't really find myself using that much. So. I'm actually going to use that to put my blush on, but let me get my matte kabuki and my mineralized skin finish in dark. And I'm going to use it to set the foundation. Because I don't like having that little glowy look like you can see. I only use like to glow in certain areas, so... That's when I use bronzers and stuff. So, there's that. Just put that back away. Um, hmm. What blush should I use? Um, I think I'm going to use Peaches by MAC. The one I just got last week for my birthday, which is this one. Nice light peach color. And my Coastal Scents Pointed Dome Brush. It's not really pointed, but that's what they call it. See? I'm not lying. See? But, um... Just get some of that on my brush, swirl around, tap it off, and then just, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this. But it's just a nice peachy color. Maybe if I do it on, when I do it on this side, you'll be able to see it. Just a nice light peach color. No, if you do it on the apples of your cheeks like this, like a lot of people try to show you, it's actually going to make you look older, so I just do it more in, uh, on my cheek bone rather than the apples of my cheeks. Because you look younger and you just look flush. It's actually a nicer combination. So, I'm not sure if you can see that. You can see it like right here. So, and let's see. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I can, but it's just like a really nice peach color, so I put that one on, and then I'm going to do a little bit of bronzing. Let me pick one of my skin finishes. I have a lot of them, so bear with me. Um, I guess I'm going to use Comfort today, so it's going to be kind of of a warm glow, and so I'm just going to put this temples on my chin. Right underneath the blush. And I just work my way back. So I'm just going to be a little, have a little sheen. I'm not sure if you can see it right here. But yeah, I don't want to be too glowy. But it's going to be really cute for ice skating. Because so that's what I'm doing today. Should be exciting. But, um, hmm, let's go on to lips. I haven't really uh, exfoliated my lips in the last like two days, so bear with me. Um, I'm gonna put Carmex. Yeah, I'm gonna use Carmex today just to prep them and moisturize them because going on ice skating, it's gonna be really cold, of course, and your lips can get chapped, and that's not a pretty look. So I'm going to do that. And then today I think I'm just going to use Lazy Day Lipstick. Um, it's from the MAC to the Beach collection. Um, it looks like this. But there's a lot of similar pinks to it. It's just a nice uh, pink. It is a luster. So I'm just going to put that on. Looks a lot different on camera because I'm using a, a tungsten setting because I'm using light... Um, the old kind of bulbs right now, but, um, let's see, there we go, so there it goes, it's just kind of like a natural pink, and I think I might top it off with a lip gloss, let's see what we have here, I'm actually going to use Bonus Beach by MAC, which is from the Heatherette collection, and I'm just going to do a little bit, because this one is really thick, 
It's just a nice champagne color. Like that. Just to give it a little shine. Even though it less. Mm, camera kind of makes it look funny, but it's cute. It's just nude, like a nude pinky color. Goes good with dramatic eyes. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah, so that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Love you guys. Stay healthy. Bye.